Yo, what's up everyone? It's Carson Rock 35 here. Welcome to a bonus episode here on Pokey Fine. So we decided that this would be a just a fun episode with the Christmas event and everything going on on Pokey Fine. Plus the fact that we didn't have Pokey Fine podcast every Wednesday seemed like a good idea to have it. Now I do mention by putting it up on Saturday because that was my original plan, but there were some reasons that I wasn't able to do that, mainly because I was training Gliscor and I didn't want to spoil the fact that we got a Christmas Gliscor. Anyways, that's all for you guys today. I hope you guys do enjoy this bonus episode. Oh, Okay guys, welcome, welcome to the bonus episode of Pokefine. If you guys are a little bit confused here, well, I was thinking what I wanted to do for a weekend video, and I was like, hmm, I've been enjoying Pokefine, and they have a Christmas event going, and you know what, why don't we just have a chill bonus Pokefine episode, and go on, and we're just gonna chill, get snowflakes, and talk about the channel, and what's to come, and what could possibly come, and... You know, you guys could especially, especially leave your guys' comments down below because it's extremely helpful for us. But, okay, let's go ahead and get right into what the Snowflake event is and anyone who doesn't play on the server that watches the video. So, Snowflake is the Christmas event right here. And if actually, if we go to Slash Spawn, we can look at uh, good old Jack Frost over here. He tells us what the Snowflake event is. Now, you get Snowflakes from daily logins, you uh, fighting wild Pokemon, I think... I don't think from NPC battles and you know whatnot and you can you get Christmas crackers you can open them up and whatnot and you spend them in here and the more you spend you can upgrade your shop and eventually I know it's like tier 5 which is extra, like 50,000 you need to get like a toxic orb which is something we extremely need for our Gliscor but I've been working on ability orb so we can get the right ability because I want him to have poison heal on him and that toxic orb will poison him and heal him and with him being a ground flying with an automatic healing status plus roots, earthquake, stealth rock, and um, and toxic and then that we, we, blah, blah, blah. that way we can poison anyone who we battle against as well. So that's the big, big bonus of it. But we need to be actually battling Pokemon right now. I'm just running around. All right, so now we're staying on Gen 2 now because there's, a, I checked it out and there's a Snowflake booster. That's basically the same thing as an XP booster, I think, just for this event. And all we need to do is battle Pokemon and it will give us that boosted out. So it's right now it's X2, but it only has nine minutes left. So we're probably gonna go to the Gen 1 server once that boost runs out, because I am currently the only one on here, and i uh, more likely to get more boost on Gen 1. And that's the best bet. Plus there's gonna be more spawns there at the same time more people are gonna take it. So it's kind of an up and down situation. But Gen 1 we know actually we know Gen 2 pretty well now, but I think Gen 1 we know a lot better the map as well, at least in the spawns and the levels and whatnot. So what we can deal with. And spawns always just a great place because if you get the Christmas crackers, it's really good to just be able to click on a person because you have to have another player to open them up. And then you both get a roll and you can get like random berries that you can get. Like I've gotten a, these two berries. I've gotten a Wakam berry and a Suka berry. They're one type, uh, take less damage and super effective move. So this one's for ground types and this one's from electric types. Kind of useful, but at the same time, I don't know if I ever want them, so I'll probably keep them up for trade or sale or something. Otherwise, they're not that super useful to me. I'd rather have a much more permanent item that could only be getting rid of through knockoff. I mean, unless it's like a citrus berry, but at that point, I'd rather have the, you know, the toxic orb strategy or leftovers with that. And I am not seeing many Pokemon. This is just not good. Okay, let's just go to slash spawn. Is there something more this way? And yeah, that's a breeder trainer. Oh yeah, okay, there's a Kangaskhan right here. Let's go ahead and uh, get this guy. I don't see many Pokemon. We might as well just probably go to Gen 1. There's just not many Pokemon. Uh, you also get them for Pokestops. Pokestops are less though than anything else. And Glint, Glint. How did Gliscor flinch? And how did he go second? Earthquake, let's go. Finish him off. I mean, it's only level 21 King. It's gone. Jeez, man. Okay, let's go ahead and come over here and get this Pokestay up and get these snowflakes. Like, boom. Okay, yeah, that was eight snowflakes. Okay, so let's go ahead and round up these Pokestops while we're here because at least that's going to be a whole bunch of extra snowflakes that we can get. And then we can go to Gen 1 and whatnot. And that would be a much better solution to get more snowflakes because we need more ability capsules, lucky eggs, and all of that. And that will just help us out extremely. Lucky eggs are mainly going to save for Gen 3. That's what the whole point of me wanting those ones are, because it's just a, a personal EXP boost instead of a server EXP boost, and uh, it, they're just cheap, but they're only 50, but ability capsules are 750, and that's not good at all. 
Okay guys, we're back here in Gen 1. You can see there's a lot more people around and you can already see how many more Pokemon there are. Uh, the only disadvantage is the fact that spawn is a very bad place for us. Ooh, and there's a EXP boost here too. That's actually fantastic. Let's go in Earthquake. The, the thing is, Spawn has a lot of flying types. Flying types are really bad for Gliscor just because I don't have his other moves on him yet. Right now, he's rocking with uh, Sky Uppercut, Swords Dance, Earthquake, and Night Slash. And I actually kind of like that. I think I want to keep maybe Night Slash. And, I, I want to keep Swords Dance. I don't know what the moveset I want to be. But the one I listed earlier was definitely a solid one. But I I don't need that moveset. I, I'm pretty solid with this moveset already because I, I have Swords Dance. Stealth Rock would be pretty cool. I could probably get Stealth Rock and that would help me out a lot. And overall, it would be extremely helpful. Um, I actually just love the look of this Gliscor too. That's one of the biggest reasons I want to add him to the team because he's super sick looking. And I do not want to waste this. Like, this skin is so cool. I love it. I love that he's holding a little present. It's so cute. It's so good. But having Swords Dance on a physical attacker is so good and the fact that he's ground flying it's just a good combo to have and you know we could always have another typing on the team which this would help with our electric weakness as well so it's always another big bonus you know it's we definitely need to expand and breach in and step on our defenses with that thing because we have a lot of weaknesses that i just don't pay attention to because i like playing with pokemon i like and not playing with the perfect teams even though i kind of play with perfect teams it's a weird combo but guys we need to get as many 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 uh of these snowflakes as we can but enough of that for now so we want to go ahead and talk about guys what's coming on to the channel so first of all we're gonna have more 100 days coming up uh not consistently there are gonna be uh you know probably two weeks or something uh or a week and a half in between the 100 days just because that they are extremely extremely hard to create um and i know my last one was pretty good you guys enjoyed it a lot that video the 100 days of pixel one survival has blew it out of the water i mean it's seriously it's done fantastic you guys killed it so i'm doing a 200 days in that so don't worry about that um i do not have an exact date for when that's going to come out at the same time either and just so you guys know i'm actually recording this is severely close to the date this releases this is supposed to go up on like the 18th i believe it's a saturday um and this this is only the 16th on thursday so definitely a different schedule it's because uh, i was trying to think of different things and expand what i want to do on my weekend videos that's why when i, I got the pokemon underground i did the statue challenge and the uh, battle challenge and some, some of those seem to do really well I'm waiting to get more feedback on them at the same time though so that's the thing always waiting for more feedback otherwise we've got more modded series coming up I'm thinking about what I want to do after crazy craft you guys seem to be enjoying crazy craft so far um, and I saw that Chris I Chris I saw your comment that you're just now getting into the series don't worry the series is a little weird and slow at first but we're just now getting to the good portion okay trust me I'm just now getting to the episodes they're gonna be the most fun I've recorded like four crazy craft episodes and I'm only thinking about scrapping one of them because it's 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 a it's it's a more of a technical episode and there's not much that happens so I might cut it out but at the same time uh, every other episode I actually really really enjoyed making and I think they're well well worth it so Definitely keep on watching through it because I'm super excited for what's to come with Crazy Craft. But the mod pack after that, I've been kind of thinking, what do I want to do? Because I know what series I'm doing after Pokey Fine Season 2 ends. I already know it and I'm not going to spoil it yet. But it is a video series, obviously. So keep on the lookout because I might be dropping hints uh, throughout other series or live streams, guys. And I know it's been a couple weeks since I've live streamed. But that's because I just need a break from BDSP because... Ooh, Cynthia really got to me a lot and I wasn't ready for it and I think I finally come up with a strategy or one Pokemon to replace someone on my team to finish it all off to make it perfect so um, well not perfect but for it to work on top of that guys I'd really like to know what kind of modded series you guys would like to see come into the channel because I have some a uh, couple ideas that I do want to do and I'm thinking, you know, maybe I go old school for uh, Feed the Beast, or if I go back to Sky Factory 3 and 4, because I know both of those decently well. Well, I know 4 a little bit, um, but we could get into them more at the same time. Those are a much longer and harder paced series, you know, and much more difficult uh, because they're just so big and so much to do in one. So it's kind of dependent on how we want to pace that and everything and how long we want it to be. Uh, I thought about Galactic Craft. Galactic Craft's not a bad idea. It's definitely a good shout, but I just don't know how expansive Galactic Craft is, so I don't know 
this series, so I just need to do a little bit more uh, looking into it. Um, I also thought about doing uh, my very first hardcore series, you know, be a, a little bit different. So just in, in the end of the series, we'd be beating the Ender Dragon. I don't know if I would continue it if you guys enjoyed it enough. I would probably do it afterwards. I would make it a continued series that would come back every now and then, and especially now because it's in the 1.18, I would love to do that because it would just be a fresh series and it'd be nice to adjust to it a little bit before we launch Achievement back up, which I do not have any plans on doing at the moment or anytime soon. Achievement Hunt is still on the back burner, but it's not done for good. We just have to uh, wait a little bit. Uh, I need a little bit of break. Let 1.18 settle in, let the bugs go out, and then we can go in and have a great time with it. Because I have seen some clips from 1.18 and I'm super super excited for it but at the same time we have to I just, I just kind of want to take my time from it and I've been really enjoying Pokefine and uh, everything else that we've been doing on the channel lately but uh, seriously uh, your guys suggestions are a big big help and it's always a nice to see what you guys would like to see on the channel and that means I could do research into it because like would you guys like to see maybe something more magical or do you want to see more technical types of mods you know do you want to see more survival or do you want to see more or I don't know whatever do, do you want to see a creative mod I don't know what that would be um it's all kind of different and uh not really sure what we're gonna come out with I do have some ideas for different types of series and I'm always trying to expand the type of content that I have but definitely keep a lookout because um I'm excited for what we do have to come because I think overall our quality of videos and everything guys and the support from you guys is just keeps on growing and growing and growing and it's absolutely amazing and I just thank you enough you guys killing it and I it's amazing so definitely definitely grateful for you guys and for all of that Boom, guys, look, so there's another 2 XP booster from Momo, Devil Luke, and the last one was actually someone else, so this is actually going to be fantastic. Everyone's grinding out to get these snowflakes at the moment. I'm definitely, ooh, give me these Ultra Balls, or not. I've been having trouble getting items picked up sometimes. I've been seeing them everywhere on the Gen 1 server, but this is definitely going to be fun because now we have a, a real chance of getting everything that we want, and the more we spend is how you access, so we, we are at like 800 out of the 3,000 that we need to get that first uh, sky. Uh, access or tier to tier 2 access of shop and that's definitely going to be a challenge for us but boom Raticate is down for the count now we do have some moves we might need to go over with Gliscor I've checked out his moves in the move relearner a little bit but um, I wasn't sure what to add to him uh, outside of me. I bought the Earthquake TM for him. He did not come with that. I don't remember what he had beforehand, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting at a low balance. I was around 150,000. Now I'm down to 47,000. So bit of a rough balance. Not much we can do right now with the guy, but he's got a decent moveset for now. So I can definitely deal with that. And he's just got great stats overall. So it's, it's really, really nice. Like his attack currently is 155 and a 180 speed. I think he's still slower. Yeah. Than Venusaur. Uh, but he's only level one higher. But Venusaur has a nature gear, uh, boost on what on it as well. But I think Venusaur has more balanced stats. So that's just the thing. He doesn't have any special attack, which makes sense overall. So let's go ahead and see. Actually, I need to go back to uh, not balance spawn because I want to check how many snowflakes I currently have. If we just got a new booster, we can have the time to do it. We have 742, and we spent 800. Its ability capsules are 750. Okay, we are super, super close. We need to just get going, going, going. And I'm probably going to try to wait as long as possible before I come back and buy it because we want to not lose any time. Forgot to tell, thank you. Uh, normal type, uh, let's just use Sky Uppercut. Boom, there we go, get rid of this easy PC. Oh yeah, and there's a Pidgeot over here, which would actually not be too bad for us. Oh, come on, let me let me battle him. Come on, return glass guard. That's so, I hate it when I'm just short and I couldn't get that. There we go, perfect. Just before the time ran out too. Let's go ahead, start off with a measly swords dance, get that attack up, and then we can sky up a cut, and we should be all good. Usually for the wild Pokemon, I only need one sword dance, and it's really chilling, and then we're, we're so good after that. But he does like to use feather dance, I've seen anytime I, yeah, there's feather dance against the Pidgeot. He, lowered our attack harshly good thing we erased it and we got an attack in anyway so even if he re lowers it one more time we should finish off this Pidgeot which is all good uh but actually he used Roost and he didn't heal up all the way so we might finish him off here but I think we're gonna need one more move and we 
missed. That's the worst thing. See, I wanted to fight Pidgeot because it should be uh, hopefully more Snowflake, but at the same time, I'm really hoping for that XP because we need Gliscor to get up. Now, I have plenty of rare candies to do it, but in Pixamon, regular Pixamon, not Pokefine, you get no EV stats. Like, the EV training you do doesn't get that extra point gain when you use rare candies, and I don't know if that's how it works in here or not, and that's what I'm worried about, so I don't want to flat out just use them, and that's kind of why I'm just holding on to them, and it, I'd rather just train it out just to be safe, but you never really, really know, and at Pokefine, you just don't have that much background information, which is just, it's just the way it is. It is vanilla Pixmon overall, so I guess I don't know if anyone thought about that type of stat. Okay guys, to finish it off, we're gonna see if we can get one more ability capsule, and we're gonna go ahead and open up this Christmas cracker. Um, who's on our team actually here? So you, you can have it. Yes. Let's open it up because we both get this little spin here and it's great. Let's go ahead and see what we get. We can get more snowflakes actually is what I'm mainly hoping for. Um, so that's always the big, big bonus. I don't think it stacks with the 2x, but it's all good. It's the, we can still get some like good 75, 50, 100, you know, that's all good snowflakes. And we got not a citrus berry. It always gives us a different berry. We got an enigma berry, very confused by a Pokemon. If it holds one being hit by a super effective attack or restore its HP. That's that's pretty neat actually that's a pretty good one uh overall so let's go ahead and open up jack frost here and see how many we have 880 coolio so let's get another ability capsule boom yes we want to submit that now we can only get three of these every does everything does have a limit so uh, ability capsule on gliscor let's go come on new ability what did you get boy hyper cutter again no that's what we had before I don't remember what Hypercutter even does. That's so upsetting that we didn't get what we wanted. We can only get one more ability capsule because I wanted to use more of that too. That's the worst thing. I wanted to get one for my boy um, Lantern as well. But geez, that's so sucky. I've gotten Hypercutter. I started with it and now that well, we have it again, that's so upsetting. Uh, maybe we can't get it on here, but I don't think that would make any sense, but uh, oh well. Anyways, I hope you guys all did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later, Rockstars. Peace, peace.